بداية أنا بحب أشكر أستاذ دكتور إيهاب على الدعوة الكريمة وبهني الإندو بورد على المؤتمر إن شاء الله موفقين دايما بإذن الله الحقيقة أنا بشكر الدكتور إيهاب على أنه نقى موضوع التورنر التورنر من الحاجات اللي بتبقى مزد مننا كلنا هندي أه حضراتكم فكرة مبسطة عنه بإذن الله عشان الشورتج أوف تايم إن شاء الله تلاش دكتور إيهاب I will stick to time بداية تورنر سيندروم the chromosomal disorders affect the phenotypic females who have one intact X chromosome and complete or partial absence of the second sex chromosome in association with one or more clinical manifestation بيسمى ساعات الأوفيريان الكونجينيتال أوفيريان هايبوبلاستيك سيندروم it affect mainly Uh, uh, girls and women. The first one who describes this uh, syndrome is uh, the Henry Professor Henry Turner, an Oklahoma physician, 1938. Women Saita Types and frequency of the chromosomal abnormalities in the Turner syndrome, as you see, the 45X it is the most common type. It is a monosomy X. After that, there is a lot of uh, types. Uh, the mosaicism with the triple X is one of them. Uh, worldwide, the uh, prevalence of the Turner syndrome is one every 2,500 female babies. The true prevalence remains unknown because many patients with mild phenotype remain undiagnosed or are diagnosed in the adulthood later. As you see in these uh, charts, the 45X is diagnosed at the, at the age of 13, the isochromosome at the age of 14, and the mosaic case may reach up to 19 years of, of age uh, when it is diagnosed. Uh, with the increased awareness and the uh, prenatal ultrasounds, a lot of uh, females uh, when they know that they have a Turner fetus, they decide to terminate their pregnancy. The clinical manifestation different prenatally. The Turner syndrome may be presented with increased knuckle translucency, nuchal uh, cystic hygromas, coarctation of the aorta and left side cardiac anomalies, uh, brachycephaly and horseshoe kidney in association with polyhydramnios and oligohydramnios. On the other hand, the female newborn present with congenital lymphedema of the hand and feet, with neck, nail dysplasia, narrow and high arched palate, short force metacarpals and metatarsals. In girls, the most common presentation is the short stature, shield says with widely spaced nipples, web neck, low hairline at the base of the neck, and the clipitas vulgus in association with the midline deformity of the forearm and the wrist. Actually, the patient with Turner syndrome usually have normal intelligence, but they have some learning disabilities, especially the calculation, the memory, and the attention. In adolescence, the main presentation is the delayed puberty or primary amenorrhea, secondary to premature ovarian failure, as a result of the presence of the streak gonads, which is the characteristics of the Turner syndrome Patients. Some females develop normally and then have secondary amenorrhea. Occasionally, others have no morphologic defect and achieve normal stage. And this is the, the, the cause of the late diagnosis of uh, some of our patients. Actually, due to the presence of dysgenic gonads, females with turners are at increased risk of developing gonadoplastoma. Cardiovascular system is one of the systems that is affected in patient with Turner syndrome. Disease of the heart account for 50% of patients' uh, excess mortality. The left side cardiovascular manifestation are the main presentation. They include the elongated transverse aortic arch in 50% of Turner syndrome women, the bicuspid aortic valve in 13 to 43%, and 4 to, uh, to 14% have aortic coarctation. Less commonly, we may have patients with right side malformations and also patients with mild hypertension 
In addition, 50% have abnormal circadian blood pressure profiles and also non-dipping of the uh, blood pressure during nights together with the hypertension may increase the risk of future cardiovascular events in these category of patients. Hypertension occur in these patients. The actual cause is not known, but there is multiple risk factors they may predispose to the hypertension, including the increased car carotid intimal sickness, the propensity towards the type 2 diabetes and glucose intolerance, the steatohepatitis, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, and discordant lipid profile that occur due to estrogen deficiency. Hypertension is also associated with a high incidence of aortic dissection and rupture, and strikingly, the aortic dissection affects the Turner syndrome at a younger age of about 35 years, opposed to the 71 years that mainly occur in the general population. The puberty is affected in patients with Turner syndrome. Although spontaneous puberty developed in 10 to 30% of the girls, the higher rate applies mainly to the girls with mosaicism for cells with more than one X chromosome. In most girls, more than the age of 10, the FSH will have elevated into the menopausal range and the AMH will be undetectable. The pelvic ultrasound should be done and in most of the cases showing no evidence of avarice and the immature uterus. It should be noted that the adrenarch is normal in patient with Turner syndrome. The skin in girls with Turner syndrome can be affected with what is known as pilomatricoma. It is an uncommon benign skin neoplasm, uh, sought to arise from the cells of the hair follicle. It developed as a single lesion on the head or neck. No association was found between this uh, benign lesion and the uh, gross hormone replacement uh, that is uh, used in some patients. Hearing problem uh, is common in patients with Turner syndrome. Many of them are affected with the hearing loss due to either recurrent otitis media causing conductive hearing loss or due to the defect in the outer hair cell on the cochlea causing sensorineural healing loss. Renal abnormalities also include the collecting system malformation positional abnormalities and the horseshoe kidneys, ocular abnormalities, strabismus, amblyopia, epicanthic fold, ptosis, hyperthyroidism, and red-green color blindness. Autoimmune disorders is more common and increased the risk uh, of autoimmunity was found in patients with Turner syndrome, the hypothyroidism, the celiac disease, the inflammatory bowel disease, and the old guidelines recommend screening for autoimmune thyroid disease and celiac disease beginning at the age of four years. To diagnose prenatally, a diagnosis is based on chorionic, uh, uh, chorionic villus sampling or amniocentesis. The diagnosis requires confirmation after birth with karyotype testing. Occasionally, the karyotype can be normal if it is mosaicism. And in this situation where there is strong suspicion, fish studies uh, is an option in addition to the karyotype to diagnose these categories of patients. In adolescence, the diagnosis is based on elevation of the FSH and the uh, uh, MH, uh, MSH, uh, MH, EMH, which is lower than normal. It is a sensitive marker for the uh, prediction of ovarian failure. If the initial karyotype is normal, the second karyotype should be formed using a different tissue like skin buccal mucosa cells or brother epithelial cells. Following the diagnosis of the Turner syndrome, evaluation of other associated abnormalities should be done, including the cardiac renal problems. Also, screening should be a part of the baseline evaluation and patients should undergo periodic screening thereafter, and this is the guidelines recommendation for screening at diagnosis and also after diagnosis in childhood and after these in the adulthood. The differential diagnosis include the Noonan syndrome, which is a condition very similar to the Turner syndrome, can be confusing. Noonan present with similar clinical characteristics as the web neck, the short stature, the cardiac and renal abnormalities, but in Noonan, there is no chromosomal abnormalities uh, uh, like the Turner syndrome. Therefore, Noonan can be seen in both male and female. 
and genetic testing is required to differentiate between these two conditions. The treatment include the treatment of the short stature. Gross require close monitoring in girls with Turner syndrome. If not treated appropriately, adult height would be 20 centimeter below the average adult female heights. Gross hormone therapy should be continued until the patient reach their adult heights and no longer have any growth potential. But the patient may suffer from some adverse effects of gross hormone like the scoliosis, the intracranial hypertension, sleep the capital femoral epiphysis, and pancreatitis. If further assistance for growth is needed, oxandrolone or delayed puberty induction can be offered. And to be remembered that the growth enhancing effect of the low dose estradiol are in contrast to the growth inhibiting effect of feminizing dose of estrogen used to induce pubertal development, which is associated with epiphyseal fusion or betali mafish proof men treatment with oxandrolone. Gross hormone treatment usually begin at the standard recommended dose of 0.05 milligram per kilogram per day with close monitoring in high velocity. Treatment of three to four years is usually required and we should discontinue when the target height is attained, when bone age is greater than 14 years or when gross velocity is less than 1.5 centimeter per year. However, the daily uh, uh, recombinant growth hormone is a single peak of growth hormone action, which differ from the physiologic growth hormone production of multiple growth hormone pulses of different duration and intensities. Wabitali, our current daily recombinant growth hormone treatment regime does not provide a physiological growth hormone profile. Wabitali, and they study the long acting growth hormone to be used in this category of patients. For the heart, a heart problem, the QT prolonged drugs should be avoided. If carcutation of the aborta is present, corrective surgery should be done. Throughout life, the patient requires monitoring of the aortic dilatation with uh, echocardiogram and cardiac MRI. Blood pressure should be maintained within the normal range to help decrease the risk of aortic dilatation and dissection. And the blood pressure should be controlled using the beta blocker as first line treatment followed by ACE inhibitors. The ovarian failure, should be treated with estrogen replacement uh, therapy. We start if no breast development begin at around 11 to 12 years of age, and the gonadotropin are elevated or AMH level is low. Later, cyclic progestin are added to the regimen to induce cyclic uterine bleeding and prevent endometrial hyperplasia. The treatment can begin at the dose between one over 10 to one over eight of adult replacement dose and gradually increased every six months to stimulate normal pubertal progression until reaching the adult dosing. So my conclusion, there is a lot of problem occurring in a patient with Turner syndrome due to the haploinsufficiency of the X-related genes that lead to premature ovarian failure and the hypogonadism. Knowledge concerning Turner syndrome is still very limited then to, to word early recognition and improve the outcome of patient with Turner syndrome, patient with Turner's needs comprehensive care, preferably from a multidisciplinary team, which can best be practiced from an outpatient clinics. And this is the suggested clinical outpatient program for patient with Turner syndrome provided by the guidelines. And thank you for your attention. Uh, 